of. We don't need to hide behind it like, and feel guilty. Huh, that's our testimony of deliverance. And there's going to be people that will walk through the back door that I can't relate to. But you can. You'll be able to tell them, you know, I used to be bound by that. Or I used to be troubled by that. Or I used to, or I went through this horrible situation in my life. But God showed up and some of us are going to tell the testimony that I still haven't been healed from what I'm walking through. But guess what? I've been faithful. And if you'll stay faithful to God, one day, one day, God is going to take us home to be with Him. Amen. Amen. I know we preach miracles and I believe, I believe miracles can happen and, I, and I'm expecting them. But at the same time, I also believe that if it's the thing that we're carrying until he decides to either deliver us from us or take us home, we just have to be a testimony to somebody. And this, this prophet, Elisha, he just, he just kept on. He just, he just kept on. And, and what's amazing to me, you know, when... The, when when the chariot comes down, you know, here comes that fiery chariot. Elijah, I don't know how he got on the thing. I guess maybe, do you think he was just pulled up there? Angelic fiery chariot pulls up and says, your car has arrived. <laughs> I was wondering where I parked that thing. And he's, he's headed out. Elijah is crying out, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof. He saw him no more. But he left something behind. And what he left behind was more than enough to fill the order. Hallelujah. Oh, I know I'm not talking anything new, but, but it's pretty exciting when you think about it. Elijah goes away and he leaves a mantle and the Bible says, I, I believe I read it, that he took the mantle that Elijah had previously had in his hand and smote the water. Elisha takes the mantle, goes back to the river and he smites the water and the water parts. He says, where is the Lord God of Elijah? You know why? Because, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The God we're serving is not locked in a man. It's not just one generation thing. Uh -uh. It goes from generation to generation to generation. In other words, it, it, it's bigger than Chuck Kreider, and it's bigger than you. And when we have revival, guess what? It's not just for this, uh, this uh, moment in time. It's going to grow to something bigger and bigger and bigger. Why? Because it carries on. I know I'm supposed to be teaching and I'm trying. <laughs> this, this moment in time, man. And Elijah smote the man against the water and the waters parted. Hither and thither. I should have called it hither and thither. <laughs> Am I saying that right? Hither and thither? <laughs> Either. Either. <laughs> Parting of the water. What a miracle. But is that it? No, that, that, that's all there is to it. Just one miracle and hallelujah. That was worth the wait. I promise I'm about, I'm about done. But listen to this. Maybe. So Elijah, he shut up the heavens causing a drought. He multiplied flour and oil for a widow. This is Elijah. He raised a widow's son from the dead. Defeated the prophets of Baal with fire from heaven. Brought rain to end the drought. Destroyed 51 soldiers with, the, with fire and lightning. Destroyed 51 more soldiers with fire and lightning. Parted the waters of the Jordan. Now this, this you've heard it before, but I'm going to share it again. He did eight miracles. And for the Bible scholars who's heard hundreds of messages, how many did, did Elisha do? If he wanted a double portion and Elijah did eight, 
Elisha 16. He parted the waters of Jordan River, purification of the water source for Jericho, protection of the prophet by two she-bears, water for, for the army of Israel and success of Moabites. And the list goes on and on and on and on. Elijah said, well, you've asked a hard one. That's a tough one. In the dimension of my, man's mind, Elijah's mind, who's about to get picked up by a chariot of fire, he said, that's a hard one. But if you see me, but in God's mind, God said, oh, that's easy. Why didn't you ask for a triple portion? Yeah, come on. Have you ever thought about that? Why, why didn't he ask for an unlimited amount? Just, just an unlimited amount. But he asked for a double portion, so God gave him 16 miracles, which was double what Elijah had. And so God was showing that there'll come a moment when, all of a sudden, heavens are going to open and the supernatural is going to take place. And it's not going to be because of you, nor your strength, nor your wisdom, nor your power, but it's going to be by the power of God. why it's interesting to me that Jesus Elijah John the Baptist was compared to Elijah Jesus followed with many miracles many if if they're if they were all written down if they were all written down couldn't contain them how many books you think fit in here I mean, if we were to stack this place, take the chairs out, take the instruments out, and stack this place, how many books do you think could fit in here? And he's saying the world couldn't contain them. In other words, the miracles were so many. And we're talking about just books about the miracle. Could you imagine being able to go and to view into heaven's portal and just pull a book from there and read about a miracle you have never heard about before? And it goes back to Jesus. And then Jesus had the audacity to say, greater works will you do because I'm getting out of here. I'm going to send the Spirit of God. In other words, the potential that's going to be on the inside of you is going to have the power to do great things. Great thing. Remember this though, the key. It's not about the rock. It's not about the sling. It's not about the human hand. It's about the name of the Lord. And it's about the Spirit of God. And it's God that gets the glory and gets the praise. And so when the miracles and the, and the outpouring of God's Spirit begins to happen and people are getting baptized in Jesus' name coming out of there with their blinded eyes opened and their ears unstopped and they're speaking in a heavenly language, none of us are going to say, would you look at what we did? No. We're going to say, thank you God for allowing us to stand on the sidelines of the miraculous uh, and just be a part of what you are doing. Amen. Amen. Let's stand. I was thinking about it today, man. I was thinking, Lord, pour it out in right city. Pour it out in right city, Lord. God, would you, would you pour it out in Jonesburg? Would you pour it out in Troy, Missouri? God, would you bless Brother Lee? Would you pour it, would you pour it out in, 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 in Wentzville, God? I can't think of their names right now. That's terrible. McCarty's, the McCarty's. Would you pour it out in O'Fallon with the Bufords? Would you pour it and, and let it just spread, God? Would you let them have miracle signs and wonders? Because when they grow, we grow. Come on, church. When miracles happen, oh, hey, we're all just one big body. That's what we are. We're all one big body. And so you know what we want? We want God to do it here. And we want Him to do it there. And we don't want to be on the sidelines saying anything. But God, you are well able. And we are plugged in to what you're going to do. And here's everything that we are. Let the potential of your spirit, God, let it fulfill what you have said you would do in us. Don't be weary in well-doing. For if you faint not, hallelujah, hallelujah,
Elijah just, Elisha just changed. He got rid of those instruments and he went to work in the kingdom of God. And he just kept on working and doing what he needed to do. The thing about this, nobody looking around. Everybody just close your eyes for a second. Don't fall asleep on me. We talk about the Holy Ghost having the potential in us to flow through us and to work miracles. But, but an overlooked thing that we often overlook is that the Spirit of God wants to minister to us as well. The potential of the Holy Ghost is to bring joy into your life. The potential of the Holy Ghost is to bring peace into your life. The potential of the Holy Ghost that resides in you is to give you hope when you feel hopeless. It's, it's to bring calm to the storms of life. It's not just for the miraculous and God wants to do that, but it's also the ministering spirit that ministers to your own life. That's why the preacher says pray, 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 pray and worship, pray and worship. Get in the word and worship, read the word. Why? Because God will minister to you. As you reach to him, he reaches into you and ministers. And then you minister to the body and then we minister to the world and collectively we see the purpose and the will of God Lord double portion Lord triple portion God do the miraculous miracle signs and wonders let it start on the inside of us you know the Jeff Lockett said it so beautifully oh what a gift hallelujah oh what a gift that just keeps on giving Maybe you need some of that tonight. Maybe, maybe you've come in this place a little, a little weary, a little tired, been a long day of work. And as she begins to play, I just want us, whether you want to stay in your seats, you can. But if you'd like to come down to the front of this building and just lift your hands and say, God, you know, I may have put myself in idle. I may have put it in neutral. I maybe you just unplugged a little bit, God. But God, hallelujah, I'm still in it. Hallelujah. I'm still in it, Lord. I'm still in it, Lord. I'm still worshiping you. I'm still praising you, God, and all the potential and everything that you have prophesied and promised that you want to do in my life, God. I just want to continue to present it to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to continue to present it to you. Lord, right now I pray for these beautiful people. Pentecostals of Warrington, I pray right now for every individual that's here in this building and those that are watching online, God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray, God, for everyone, Lord. I pray, God, in this season of, of, of celebration, Lord, help us to remember, God, the reason you came and the gift that you gave. Minister to those that have experienced loss in 2023 and feel that, that loss and that sorrow. I pray for a peace that passes understanding, Lord. I pray for those, oh God, that are bound by addiction, Lord, that 2024 you're going to use your church as a beacon of hope and light to reach to them, God, that our hearts are going to be full of love and mercy and compassion, God. That, God, you're going to cause us, God, to be a church for all nations and for all people people Lord we're all races God you're going to make this a church Lord where oh God your spirit is poured out even as it was upon the day of Pentecost we glorify you Lord we glorify your name Jesus Christ hallelujah Lord right now I pray in Jesus name I pray for Wright City and that daughter work that's starting there that work, God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus. Would you pray with me right now for, for other churches? Right now I pray in the wonderful name of Jesus for the strength of God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God. I pray for Wentzville, Lord. I pray for O'Fallon, Lord. I pray for St. Charles, St. Peter's, Lord. I pray, oh God, for Bridgeton, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, God, for Troy. 
I pray, God, that your spirit, Lord, I pray for Wellsville. I pray for Montgomery City. I pray for Herman. I pray, Lord God, for, for these churches, Lord. I pray, God, that your spirit, Lord, would do a great work in these end times, Lord. I pray for strength for each pastor, Lord. I pray for wisdom and guidance. I pray, God, for your hand to rest upon them. I pray for the saints of God that go there, Lord. I pray for your wisdom, your strength, and your power, Lord. I pray, God, for those that are sick, God, in body and in mind, that they'll, God, there'll be a peace, God and a comfort and a strength that will come. Lord God, I pray that you would do the work, God, that only you can do, Lord. We are but your vessels, God. Fulfill your potential, O oh Lord, in us, in this city. In the wonderful name of Jesus Christ, I pray, Lord. I pray for your blessings, God, upon the holiday seasons, Lord. I pray, God, for families, Lord, that there will be unity and love. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Raise us up. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen. Don't forget Sunday morning. We're going to have a good time. Worship the Lord. Invite somebody to come to the house of God with you. Yeah, invite somebody to come to the house of God. For all those that are traveling, we pray for safe travels. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you as you're being dismissed in Jesus' mighty name.